Okay, my karma babies. Remember earlier in the day when I did the avocado challenge? Here goes my cat. Here goes my cat right on cue. He's meowing again. But uh, remember uh, when I did the avocado challenge, I mentioned to you that my husband had made dinner for me. Well, here's my dinner that he made. My plate's a little hot, so um, bear with me. But I have meatloaf, and those are um, sugar peas. They're like a, um, taste almost like a, I don't know if you could say maybe a string bean or, or you know what, let me kind of show you what they look like. There we go. They are really, really good. And he made some spaghetti, homemade spaghetti, homemade meatloaf. He made the meatloaf from scratch. And guys, my mouth is watering. And as you know, I uh, don't do a lot of talking before <laughs> I talk more or less when I'm eating because I like for my food to be nice and hot. But hey, let me just make sure that I get a nice um, thumbnail because that's what I've been neglecting. Um, sometimes I don't get a really nice thumbnail. How's that? Is that a nice thumbnail, my karma babies? It's looking good to me from here. <laughs> My cat is just acting so silly, so silly. You know, um, let's get to eating, okay? Um, one of my karma babies, uh, oh, I forgot to tell you, garlic bread too, right? One of my karma babies um, had mentioned, and I showed Clyde in the last video because she heard him meowing. He waits until, mm. Mm -hmm. he waits until, these are the peas. They're like snow peas. Um, I saw, you know, a couple of little peas that are, Clyde, you got to behave now. Come on, be a good cat. Show you what one of the peas on the inside look like. I hope that you'll be able to see it. Oh, I dropped it, guys. I dropped it. Um, they look almost like little English peas. Just little green peas. Mm. They are very sweet and very tender. Um, my husband made this meatloaf from scratch. Mm. Have some meatloaf babies. Can you see? Oops. Can you see the onion and green pepper and everything that he put in there? My husband is an amazing cook. Mmm. It is juicy and moist. He put garlic in here and he put tomato sauce and ketchup, delicious. And the spaghetti, he made the sauce from scratch. Mmm. I'm so happy you guys are here having this meal with me. I love it when we can share a meal together, I really do. I asked you guys in the last video, did you like me drinking out of this? Or would you like for me to drink out of this, my mason jar? I found this pretty little cup at uh, Walmart the other day, and I just thought it was kind of fancy, so I'd give it a twirl. I'm having fun drinking out of it, but you know what? My mason jars are so close to my heart. Um... Oh, I just have water. I really am trying to stick to a lot of water. <laughs> water um, and maybe sweet tea. I went out to lunch today with some ladies and I had sweet tea at lunch. Yes, I went out to lunch today with some folks 
and we had so much fun at lunch. We were talking about all kinds of things. You name it, we were talking about it. Mm. So good. Um, you know, I live in Mississippi, so everybody down here has a gun. I wanted to show you my meatloaf. Everybody down here has a gun. Um, my husband needs to bottle this meatloaf and sell it on his shelf. Um, so when we first moved down here, I felt like everybody else has a gun. I need me one too. You know, you need protection. So we used to go to the gun range and, you know, learn how to properly use a weapon. You don't just get a weapon and throw it in your house. You learn how to use it, you know. If you can go outdoors and maybe shoot at targets, you go shoot at targets or you go to gun range. So we were talking about guns and they were telling me what kind of gun they had and we were just having a great little discussion. And then... I was with two ladies and they both showed me that they had in their purse tasers. <laughs> they carried tasers in their purse. Listen, my karma babies, they don't play down here in Mississippi. <laughs> they do not play. They had tasers in their purse and uh, the one young lady Hers was red and it had diamonds on it. And they also double as flashlights. Both of their tasers double as flashlights. And I felt so out of place because here I'm the only one who didn't have a taser or anything. So that's on my agenda. But I don't plan on being out anywhere by myself. where anybody could get close enough to me to do me any harm. I don't plan on it, but you know, you never know, you don't plan on it. That's when it happens. That's why things like that happen. Mmm, so good. So I told you that I was gonna share my dinner with you. My husband did a job on this, I tell you. Mm. So, that was a big laugh. But one of the ladies, her um, her taser, her battery was dead. Oh, I think the other one too. <laughs> it's like anything else, you know, you put it in your purse and, you, you know, you got all these well intentions, but they, they have to charge them. They don't just stay charged. Tasers have to be charged. Tasers have to be recharged and it's got a little thing that pops out and you just plug it in the wall. So uh, when we got back to where we were at, so when we got back to, uh, <clears throat> so when we got to the, uh, so when we got to the restaurant, <laughs> Uh, the lady, one lady that I was with actually charged up her taser. It's like recharging your, your, uh, phone, you know, can I, can I charge up my phone? You know, the battery is dead. Uh, when we got back in the car, it didn't take long for it to charge. When we got back in the car, she said she wanted to show me, you know, how it worked because I've never been around a taser before, really. So I was like, okay, but don't even point it towards me. <laughs> and it has like a zap, zap, you know, it has a zap sound. It's kind of scary, mm -hmm. the sound. So my karma babies, do you guys carry tasers? <laughs> I remember... Like I said, I have three daughters, and I used to buy mace for them. Hoping and praying, of course, that they never have to use it, but that was the thing then, you know, to buy mace. 
but tasers and guns are where is that now? <laughs> I tell you, what a laugh we had today with those. But I'm getting me a taser, I promise you. I'm getting a taser because you never know. <laughs> and sometimes you might wind up needing protection. So, anyhow, guys, how's your day been going? Hmm? In the comments, I wish you could tell me just a little bit about your day. You know, did you have to go to work? Um, are you in school? If you are in school, what are you studying? I really want to get to know you. Um, I want you to know me, but I really want to get to know you. <laughs> Are you in school? If you're in school, what grade are you in? Or what are you going to school for? Do you work? What type of job do you have? Mm. So good. So good, babies. The spaghetti. Mm. Look at that sauce. You know, I told you, I, I'm eating away, but look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Ladies, if you have a man that can cook, <laughs> I suggest that you hang on to him. <laughs> That's what I did. <laughs> You hang on to him because he's very valuable asset. <laughs> yes. And especially one that loves to cook or likes to cook, you know? Mm, so good. Mm -hmm. So, my husband's in the other room. And he's watching TV. See the little pea that's in the uh, little snow peas? Uh, tastes almost like you're eating a, 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 a green bean. I'm holding this so you can see the plate. I want you to be able to see it. Um, he's watching TV. And he called me in there just a little while ago because... <clears throat> He's watching this show on TV, and it's one of those, you know, shows that are, used to be the thing is called Wonder Years with Fred Savage, I think, when he was a little kid. And the scene was they were standing outside of a, a store, and they're looking at TVs when they first came out. <laughs> And they had this look of awe in their face, you know? I remember when TVs first came out. And on this episode, they had a little thin piece of plastic that they put over the TV because, you know, TVs, when they first came out, they were black and white. So we used to buy this thin piece of plastic, and it was color. It had different colors in it. And we would put it on top of our TV on the front of the glass to make the TV look like we had a colored TV because that was that was it. You that was the colored TV. You weren't gonna get anything else. You weren't gonna go to Walmart and get a TV, you know, right off the rack that's color and high definition and all that. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. So I remember, I remember when TVs first well. I guess they first came out. I remember when someone got a TV in my neighborhood. Um, I can't remember who the family was, 
but it was probably somebody close to us because everybody lived in the same block. We're all mostly family. And at the time when the TV first came out, you can only watch maybe an hour a day or two hours a day or something. And, oh, everybody was so anxious for whatever program that came on. We didn't care what it was. We were happy for whatever it was that came on. And everybody in the neighborhood would go to this house, sit around the TV. People would be on the porch peeking in. Oh, it was, it was so much fun. So much fun. Now, nine-month-old babies are playing with iPads and stuff. <laughs> Yeah, times have changed, I tell you. Mm -hmm. Times have really changed. Mm. Times have changed, guys. And some for the best and some for the worse. Some for the better and some for the worse. Mm. When TVs first came out, like I said, you know, stations were limited and shows were limited. They didn't have any TV, any any shows. They had to go about creating these shows and stuff, you know. And when the TV would go off at night, you'd have this test pattern across your screen and it'd go, Ew! That's what you would hear. Now, that group never happens. TV is 24-7. 24-7. This meatloaf, I'm telling you. Mm. The, the onion and the little taste of garlic. and Oh, my goodness. He did a great job with this. And earlier, you know what he did? He took and made himself a sandwich with um, some of the meatloaf. And he made himself a sandwich, and all he did was um, he melted some cheese on it. It looked really good. Mm hmm But... He likes to cook like this because what he'll do is the meatloaf and spaghetti. And if you want to make a sandwich out of it later, you can make a sandwich out of it later. If you want to add it to your spaghetti, it's like having spaghetti, you know, with the, um, it's like having spaghetti with the ground beef. Clyde, behave. Clyde, be a good boy now. Oh, my karma babies. I don't know. He's just like a kid. He waits really patiently. Until I'm doing something. Like talking to you guys. And then he wants the attention. Right? So. If you're new to my channel. Hit the subscribe button right now. So that we can become friends. <laughs> mm -hmm. You can become a karma baby. And I can become your granny. <laughs> I love being your granny. You know, grannies love their grandbabies, right? No doubt about that. No doubt about that. We spoil our grandbabies. Mm -hmm. That's the fun of being a grandma. You get to spoil the grandbabies. So, I think I'm about finished because it is a little late. I don't want to eat too much. I think I've eaten two pieces of the meatloaf and almost all of my food, as you can see. It was so good.
the spaghetti. You know how the spaghetti sometimes can have that acid taste, that acidity from the uh, tomato sauce. My husband puts a little touch of sugar in there to get rid of that taste. And it just tastes wonderful. Mm. As you can see, I could keep eating forever and ever. <laughs> but I have to stop sometime, right? <laughs> so, again, my karma babies, I want to thank you for stopping by and having a meal with Granny. I want you to like this video and leave me comments. Answer some of the questions that I asked you. Uh, let's interact with each other. I really want to get to know you. And if you stop by here for the first time, hit that subscribe button so I'll know you're here. And until the next time, guys, peace. And Granny is out of here. Bye-bye now. I love you. Bye-bye.